I love watching the horny channel. <laughs> it's Juanita from Manchester. Get up! <laughs> oh, he said Sean. <laughs> In the dead man. No, Yo, No. No, from what we just said, like, well, you know, it's, a, it's an ongoing thing in a Jamaica right now where the thing now stop. Most I drive for them in a Jamaica can drive good and then keep driving at some high rate of speed that is very, very dangerous. As we can see in that video, we can see, say, the car plot up, twine up, wiggle up, wrap round the light post. The light post seems to be a part of the automobile at that moment now. And it is very tragic to see how the young man in the car and then the next one they are ground even though I cut out that one but somehow you must see that video there the same video with the man there on the ground they look like him either knock out or he's out of here and you know sir that never have happened you know what I say what could happen but that never have happened if ones and ones just try to slow down and just be no it's a show off if you want and it's a show off but you have powerful care under your foot you oppress it but the most time you have to know say 
you can't control a car at certain speed and the, the faster you go, the higher the risk. So just keep that in mind. No matter when we come here and cuss and go on bad and say how oh, Jamaican people are either for them can't drive good in which we know that most of the Jamaican drivers are damn fool. From the hyper accident that we see happening and no one try to do something about like just checking your speed a little bit, just just be more cautious, just drive to a certain rate. 70, 80 is fine. And certain roads and certain open road where you can shut it a little bit. Just shut it a little bit, but don't really. Just just drive like say a one life you have and this them say driving is even more dangerous than flying in a plane. There's a, there's a bigger chance of having an accident on the road than having an accident in a plane. That's what they say, I don't know. However, please, take care of your car if you don't want to take care of yourself. Just don't mash up a car. You don't mind? I see that you don't mind mashing up yourself. Because you, you came here for free. You're on the earth freely if nobody paid for you. Somebody had made love and you was here and you're free. Didn't cost you nothing to get here. Take care of your clothes then. Take care of your jewelry. You know why I wear them again? You want smuddy in your yard at choose whoever take this and whoever take that because you're dead. And you know you close them puzzling you know? You close them nice, nice clothes you have. Expensive jewelry and the clean and just stay alive. Drive slow for your shoes. If you're not drive slow for yourself, for your family, drive slow for your personal belongings then. You're not drive slow for your children, you're not drive slow for your passenger, the person beside you, you would have loved them like oh Jesus Christ, my little children, them. Drive slow for them, don't do it for yourself. Drive slow for your, your bed, drive slow for your, your slippers, your, your hat, your cap, them. Drive slow for your phone where you're at. Drive slow for something where you're planning for. You. give up on you if you give up on you me can give up on you too I must admit at times I run with my car because my car very fast very fast very sturdy and I shut it I take chance to once in a while I don't go ridiculous speed First, the fastest I ever drive, drive my car was about a hundred and something, just a hundred and a little bit. That was just to test it out. It was really straight road and I shot it for a bit. Hundred and about ten. I don't do it often. As I care about myself. I care about the people that care about me. Anything can happen at any time. So why give it more chance? Why multiply the chances? Anything can happen at any time. Don't give it more chance. Don't, give, don't multiply the risk. Just live your life. Have fun. You have nice things. Enjoy them. Or full joy them. Don't just dash for yourself and then. You know what I mean? And sometimes you don't even pass on. As I said, anything can happen. But don't multiply the chances. Sometimes you do a silly thing and have an accident. And then what happened to you is. You you end up in a hurtful situation where your body broke up, you this, you that, and you might never come back to normal as you was. You wouldn't like that, would you? You don't come back to normal. Damn. You need to come back to normal. You need to be able to walk. You need to be able to drive again. You need to be able to fear football, so you don't need to get yourself in unnecessary danger. Come on, bros and sisters, man. Look at that girl is barring for you, bro. And this is just one of many. I, I will do a total video on this, but I want to say something to the government of Jamaica, even though they don't really gonna watch this video. But somebody tell them, say, 
them for ban slippers from bike. Yeah. This this the slippers thing. Ban slippers from bike. You should, in England you can't drive with um slippers when you foot you can but there's a fine, there's a big fine. Got the, the, the slippers each upon the pedal, them the gas pedal and the brake pedal and the clutch pedal, the slippers each upon them, so it's very dangerous for an accident. And a bike now you should dress pr properly with helmet and um and um shoes, some form of shoes, not slippers, not this little fucking slipper shit. That should be illegal. That should be totally illegal to ride your bike, your motorbike, in a slippers. No, the young young man, they won't eat that message there. However, it's for your own safety and the safety of the public. Second, thirdly, Jamaican people very rarely wear seatbelt in their vehicle. And they drive really, 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 really fast. Some of them can't drive good. And they drive really, 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 really fast. No seatbelt. Do you care about you? All these things are safety features. You have seen how it happened before when a car crash. People hit the fucking dashboard, fly to the window. Seatboard, seatbelt, you can die in a seatbelt as well. And seatbelt could even kill you. But it still minimizes the chance of you dying or very seriously injured in an accident. So fucking hell. Oh, it now make me feel me. You stupid fuck. Well, get used to it, fucker. You never born in a shoes. You get used to them, do you? Every time you go to put on a shoes, and every time now you go to put on a fucking suit of clothes, fucker. But you wasn't born in it. So you wasn't born in a fucking seatbelt either. But why do you wear fucking clothes? Well, start wearing a fucking seatbelt and you'll get used to it in a fucking minute. You wasn't fucking born in an eyeglass and jewelry and, and, and fuck. You, well, you born in a fucking car. You got used to it, though. Fucking stupid fucks. Like, share, and subscribe. If you fucking feel fucking mine. But I want to say thank you to all the fucking subscribers. No, no, no. Thank you to all the subscribers, them. New and old. Thank you. And to all of the fucking them that we just said, that wasn't aimed at you. It was aimed at somebody else that is keeping up fuckeries. I love watching the horny channel. <laughs> it's Juanita from Manchester. Get up! <laughs> I say, Sean. <laughs>